So just to introduce myself, uh, I'm a child neurologist. I'm currently doing PhD in neuroinflammation, in developing biomarkers of neuroinflammation under the supervision of Professor Russell Dale. I'm very grateful and humbled to have been awarded Brain Foundation grant, which will help me continue my uh, further research. So Tourette syndrome, obsessive compulsive disorder, and autism are very common disorders affecting one in 50 to 200 uh, children, people. And these are often seen together, and they manifest with behavior problems, concentration difficulties, and affect the cause learning impairment, affect day-to-day -day functioning of children and the families with these problems. And uh, recently, in recent UK health economic assessment has shown that the OCD and autism have been defined as the two of the top 10 economical costly diseases to the society. And a number of factors have been proposed as etiological reasons, including the environmental, genetic, and immune mechanisms. Uh, mechanisms. And over the last 10 years, there has been increasing uh, literature on the role of immune activation in these disorders. And our clinical experience tells us that in, uh, in a subgroup of these patients with obsessive compulsive disorder, tics, as well as autism, they respond to immune treatment. And despite the reported immunological abnormalities and despite the uh, benefits of immune treatment, unfortunately, we do not have any biomarkers to diagnose inflammation and treat and, treat and monitor these patients. And uh, so with the, with the support from the Brain Foundation, so we are planning to propose a study where we will be collecting the clinical details as well as treatment response of these children who present with the combination of the autism spectrum disorder, the obsessive compulsive disorder and Tourette syndrome. And we will be, especially those who have fluctuating course of clinical relapses and remissions where immune mechanisms may be playing role. And we would be measuring the, uh, the spinal fluid levels of immune molecules called cytokines, chemokines, as well, which will help us identify immune response. And also we will measure the molecules of neuronal glial markers, which will help us understand the, determine the extent of the tissue injury in these patients. So through this study, we hope that we will identify treatable forms of immune-mediated tics or OCD, obsessive compulsive disorders and autism, and we will be able to describe the clinical phenotype and treatment response in these children. And the cytokine chemokine profiling, it will help us provide new insights into these uh, disorders who, which have poorly understood immune-mediated pathogenesis. And it will also help us diagnose and monitor inflammation, extent of injury, and monitor response to treatment. And hopefully, with the improved understanding of immune uh, strategy, uh, uh, mechanisms, it will help develop new treatment strategies in the future. And again, uh, I would like to thank Brain Foundation for their support, which would help me continue with my research in this sector.